So in this example question, we're asked to calculate the temperature rise in a compressor, which compresses air isentropically from 10,500 kilograms per meter squared, uh, 15 degrees Celsius to 63,300 kilograms per meter squared. Calculate also the power required if the mass flow of air is 25 kilograms per second, and the specific heat capacity at constant pressure is 1.15 kilojoules per kilogram, and the ratio of specific heat gamma is 1.4. We're also told to neglect changes in velocity to implement the method. So here's our question, and we can see that the air at the entrance to the compressor is uh, 10,500 kilograms per meter squared. It is 15 degrees Celsius, which is 288 degrees Kelvin. The output pressure is 63,300 kilograms per meter squared, and we're asked to calculate the temperature rise. So we want to uh, cal calculate the, the temperature at the outlet here. Um, isentropic. Uh, that is a process where the entropy entropy is constant and for us uh, that is when the system is an adiabatic system and it is reversible. So we have a formula for uh, reversible adiabatic systems and it's that. So it's saying that the temperature at the outlet uh, divided by the temperature at the inlet is equal to the pressure at the outlet divided by the pressure at the inlet uh, all to the power of gamma minus 1 all over gamma. So let's plug in some values. And then if we multiply both sides by 288, we get what T2 is. So I'm just going to stick that into my calculator. So I've just typed the values into the calculator here, and I'll put in, press enter, I get uh, 481 degrees Kelvin. So temperature 2 is 481 degrees Kelvin. Okay, we're also asked to calculate the power required if the mass flow of air is 25 kilograms per second, and we're given the constants here. Okay. So the steady state energy equation uh, is this, and that's for um, for any uh, open system. So in the compressor, we're not adding any heat, so we're not burning any fuel in here, so there's no heat being added. And we're told to neglect the changes in velocity between inlet and outlet. So that means the velocity here, we're saying this is so small we can neglect it. So that's going to be zero. And generally, we assume that the compressor is horizontal, so that the difference in height between the inlet and the outlet is, is zero. So this height set, difference in height z uh, is zero. So uh, our equation then reduces to this. So the work done um, per second, so work per second is power. So the power is the mass flow times the change in enthalpy. Now the change in enthalpy is Cp times T2 minus T1. Uh, Cp we were given as 1.15 kilojoules per kilogram. The mass flow is 25 kilograms per second. And the difference in temperature, well we calculated this temperature here to be 481 degrees Kelvin. And this inlet temperature was 288 degrees Kelvin. So when I multiply that out, out I get an answer of 5,520 kilowatts. And that's that example.